The Indian Air Force chief has called for foreign collaborations for development of niche technologies for the AMCA program, saying that it is prudent to have a backup development and realization plan in place, just to ensure availability of alternative systems and sensors, in case the indigenous plan fails to mature as per the plan timelines. The Air Chief also flagged Air Force's deep concern and skepticism over the ability of the Aeronautical Development Agency and Hindustan Aeronautics to deliver on key indigenous fighter aircraft programs on time. AMCA is expected to complete critical design review next month, and the rollout of first prototype by end of 2025, and the first flight by end of 2026 or early 2027. The Indian Air Force has moved a proposal to the Defence Ministry worth over 1,400 crore rupees for the procurement of Rudram-1 anti-radiation missiles. The 200 km range Rudram-1 can be fired from Su-30 and Mirage 2000 fighter jets, and the Rudram-1 has the capability to even detect and destroy a non-operating enemy radar system. The DRDO has also involved Adani Defence as the development come production partner for the Rudram-1 missile. As India increases its political and military ties with Egypt, India has extended an invitation to Egyptian President to be the chief guest at Republic Day on 26 January 2023. Defence ministers of both countries recently signed a memorandum of understanding to further enhance defence cooperation, and Egypt is looking to procure 70 light combat aircraft that can resume its local aircraft production capacity under which India has offered its Tejas aircraft with full transfer of technology. Argentina will announce the winner of its fighter jet tender in 2023, and it has told both contenders India and China, that it plans to locally manufacture the aircraft from semi-knockdown kits, followed with the procurement of 30 more units in long run. Argentina has raised concern regarding the Chinese WS-13 engine offered with the JF-17 in its internal report, as Pakistan preferred to integrate its JF-17 with Russian RD-93 engines over the Chinese WS-13. India's Tejas has an advantage, as Argentinian Air Force officials prefer Israelia to air missiles like Python 5 and Iderby missile, due to prior good experience with Israeli weapons. Department of Mechanical Engineering at the Indian Institute of Technology Jodhpur is working on artificial intelligence-powered all-terrain vehicle, that is designed especially for deserts. The vehicle will be able to make intelligent decisions based on the situation, and will be capable of transforming its shape in such a way that it can cross dunes or rocky surfaces. A detailed presentation was made to the DRDO, and they are on board the project, and have asked to submit a detailed proposal. The US Navy's P-8A maritime patrol aircraft has added a new weapon known as Hawk, which transforms the air-dropped Mark 54 lightweight anti-submarine torpedoes into long-range standoff weapons, and the Hawk will soon be available to existing operators of P-8 aircraft that includes the Indian Navy. When the Hawk kit-equipped Mark 54 lightweight torpedo is released, the weapon glides to a designated target area using GPS-assisted guidance system, after which the torpedo is dropped into the water using a parachute, and it then travels to hit the intended target. Oh,